Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a look at just how easy it is to provision ES Chat on a Sonom XP3. Now in this particular demonstration, uh, we've done all the background provisioning at the dealer level, and this is what's going to happen when the end user receives the box and just has to assemble it and activate ES Chat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the box. We're going to remove the quick start guide and then pull out the phone. Now on the back of the phone, you're going to notice there's a little screw here, and that's just to secure the cover. You could use a screwdriver, but it's just as easy to do it with your thumb. And then pull off the back cover. Now on the back of the phone, you're going to notice a couple things. This is the micro SD slot. This is SIM card number two, and this is SIM card number one. Now it's very important that we use SIM card number one. So this is the SIM that you're going to get with the phone, and this is actually three SIMs in one, the full size, the micro, and the nano, and we want the nano. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this thing out of the carrier, and that's going to give us the full size SIM. Then we're going to pop that out, and that's going to give us the micro SIM, and then we're going to pop that out, and that's going to give us the nano SIM. Now what we want to notice here is that there's a little cutoff corner on the top of the nano sim and that has to be in the top right hand corner. Now we're going to take this tray and we're going to slide it that way to the left and then pivot it up and then we're going to slide the sim card into the tray, push it back down, make sure it lines up properly and then we're going to slide it that way to lock it into place. Then the next step is to get the battery out of the box and remove it from the plastic bag. Now you'll notice that there are brass pins on the top of the battery and there's brass pins on the top of the phone and we have to make sure that they line up together. Snap it into place, put the back cover back on and then just give this uh, thumb screw just a couple of turns. It doesn't have to be super tight, it's just to prevent it from falling off. And then just so we get less reflection here, I'm just gonna take the, uh, the plastic film off the uh, phone. So if we take the power button, which is this red button here, and we push and hold it for a few seconds. You'll feel the phone vibrate and it'll start to turn on. And then we're just gonna leave it for a few seconds to let it fire up. So after a few seconds, you're gonna hear a wake up tone and the phone is gonna boot up. I'm just gonna move it closer so we can get a better view of the screen here. Now, it's just gonna give us a couple of quick tips on the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push the end button a couple times just to bypass those. And then it's gonna say no service and the clock is wrong and then it'll register with the network and it'll give you the wake up sound. So we notice it says TELUS in the top left hand corner and we've got LTE in the top right hand corner. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to agree to the location consent. And then basically we're ready to go as far as making phone calls goes. But now to load ES chat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this top center button here, this one, which is called the app tray. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up all the apps that are available on the phone preloaded. ES Chat is in the center of the second row and it's already selected. So all we're going to do is we're just going to push the OK button, which is the center of the multifunction button. And basically it's going to launch ES Chat. Now this is asking us for an activation code. Uh, if we had the activation code, you could enter that, but there is an easier way. If you take the down button on the multifunction key and you press it twice, you're going to come to activate with ESN. And then all we're going to do is we're going to push the center button. And then we're going to wait while it provisions itself. And that's it. Now it's ready to go and it's already got all the users that are preloaded that are already existing on the account. And that's basically all there is to provisioning ES Chat on a Sonom XP3. Thanks for watching.